question. This is the part the interviewer loves and the interviewee doesn't always. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. Right, Andrew, if you're ready, here's the first of your rapid fire questions. S small answers, maybe one word, maybe a sentence. Here's the first one for you. Mr. Baggy Green? No. Australian cricket's all about what? Winning. Which Australian cricketer today would you take out for a drink? Currently playing. Hmm. Brad Haddon. Or any Australian player, if I, if I relax. In the history of yeah. cricket. Uh, Keith Miller. Did you fascinate with Keith Miller as well? Yep. I, I never met him, never saw him, but he's always been a hero, I don't know why. Well, the thing that fascinated me about him was his, uh, the stories about him in his fighter yeah. jet, you know. About, about pressure being a message made up your backside. That's right. Yeah. Like he'd have been fascinating. To Which is the one thing you regret saying in public? No, I, I swore at my mother once, I regret doing that. Mm. If a streaker runs onto the ground now, you will? Think before I move. <laughs> Fishermen don't like what? Uh, Fishermen don't like bananas in boats. Why? Well, it's just an, it's an old, I don't know if you call it an old wives' tale, but I just reckon that, that it's the it's a least useful thing in a boat. It just doesn't attract fish. But I've seen a boat filled with fish, with, and then someone's, <laughs> at the end of the day, as we're going home, someone's pulled out a banana. <laughs> so yeah. it, that's an old wives' tale, that one. You're scared of? I don't like snakes. They're eerie. Like, I can deal with them, but I don't like them. It's very interesting. We have seen another wonderfully built man, Faisal, a security guy. Yeah. And he gets creepy with snakes as yeah. well. Are you a betting man? Not really. Like, I'll have a bet, Melbourne Cup, or, mm. but I'm not, not really. If you are not a cricketer, what would you be? I think oh, well, I'd probably be a fisherman or a farmer. An idea for a day well spent? Day well spent, I would wake up in the morning. Have Billy tea on the fire, then I'd get in the boat, go to the reef, fill the boat full of fish. Well, not too many because I've got to fill them, but enough, plenty of fish. Come home, have some fish and a few cold beers, and go to bed and do it all again the next day. Yeah, so there you are, an idea for a day well spent for Andrew Simons. But do tell me it didn't surprise you because that's what you expect from Andrew Simons. But he gave us honest answers in rapid fire and that's what you want.